Horrifying images from the 2013 Boston Marathon bombing feel fresh to many. All these years later, a Greensboro woman was there during the attack. She returned to New England today for this year's marathon. She reflected on the bombing's lasting presence with WFMY News 2's Nixon Norman. That's right, Sydney. Runners from Kernersville, Winston-Salem, and Greensboro all represented the triad in Boston today, 11 years after the marathon bombing. Although there was a lot of excitement and celebration around the race today, the three runners I spoke with say the tragedy will never fully go away. A horrific day in 2013. Explosions went off near the finish line of the Boston Marathon killing three people and injuring nearly 300 others. That was a devastating year. Targeting one of the largest marathons in the world. There's no other race like this. April Irwin of Greensboro was there that day. She finished the race before the bombs went off and was out of harm's way. She's been back several times since, including this year, where she says although a decade has passed, this tragedy still lingers. The year after, you could really feel it. But you still feel it. You absolutely still feel it. As a three-time Boston Marathon runner, Hannah Bowles from Winston-Salem says she's felt a shift in security. There's security everywhere. Boston does a great job. I mean, we, I never feel unsafe here. First-time racer Caleb Wilkerson from Kernersville says this has been an emotional experience. You can tell for the locals, you know, they still feel it. It's just something that's, you know, in the air here. All three agree this race is like no other. I've done a lot of marathons where it's a little lonely out there. You know, you'll go miles where you don't see anybody, like hardly any other runners even. That from mile one to mile 26, they say they've always felt unconditional support. You're always gonna have somebody cheering for you. And at the same time, you're always gonna have a runner beside you as well. It's, it's very unique in that way. All three finished the race today, a feat not many runners get the chance to do. A moment they'll likely never forget. In Greensboro, Nixon Norman, WFMY News 2.